Hello, this is eBear97, and this is a simplified tutorial on voltage, current, resistance, and watts. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoy. Okay, so first we're gonna start with voltage. It's uh, a word heard by pretty much anyone, really. And it's really common on the side of your, you know, common batteries, such as this one, or even these. For example, this one is 9 volts, and this one is 1.5 volts, because this is only a AAA. But what exactly is voltage? Well, the definition of voltage is electrical... Potential. Okay. Well, what do they mean by that? Well, basically, it's it's based. Think of it like the pressure, right? So if you have a glass of water here, and fill it up with water, right? And we put a little pipe on the side. And we put another one right here. And we put it back on this one. Now this one is higher up than this one. And if this is the ground. And I put a pinwheel here. And I put a pinwheel here. Now if the water f went down from here and spun this pinwheel, and the water from here came, spun this pinwheel. This one, this pinwheel is probably going to spin a lot faster than this one. It's probably a lot faster than this one. Because it has, the water had more pressure. So think of the voltage of a battery, like this demonstration. So think of this as a 1.5 volt. Think of this as like the 9 volt battery. The higher the voltage, the greater the difference, so therefore the greater the potential, therefore it has, a, think of it like a higher pressure of the electrons. So that's basically what voltage is. It's the electrical potential. Now let's go to current. Now if that was a pressure, the voltage is a pressure. Current is the number of electrons. So if I were to have a wire, if I had two wires, this current, ha this wire had uh, five amps going through it. And this guy had like 15 amps going through it. Obviously, this has more current and this has more electrons. Now, when you get electrocuted, it's not the voltage that kills you, it's actually the current that kills you. So, a, a high current will actually kill you. So, current is simply just the number of electrons. So, if this had a little bit going through, this would have a lot. Then, this explanation is resistance. So, what is resistance? Well, looking back at that circuit where you had a pinwheel spinning, and you had water flowing, right? Now when the pinwheel would spin, the pinwheel is going to oppose that water. It's not going to it's not going to spin instantly. Think of it like pushing a brick. If you were to push a brick, that brick is not going to fly off the desk immediately when you touch it. The brick's going to offer a little bit of resistance. And think of it like that. When the water starts to spin, the pinwheel is actually a little bit of resistance, or it's the opposition to flow. That's what resistance is. It's the opposition. So, in a circuit, resistance is simply the opposition for the electrons to flow through. So we have a component here, which is called a resistor. Right? This one is uh, 1,000 ohms. There's a value for this resistor, or 1K ohm, or 1 kilo ohm, whichever I'm going to call it. I'll just say 1,000. So this is 1,000 ohms, which means this probably has a greater resistance than like a wire. Because even wires have resistance, this is just a simple wire. And this wire probably has a resistance of like probably less than an ohm. This has a thousand ohms. So how does this correlate? Well the three things I taught you, voltage, resistance, and current, go into Ohm's Law. And I will explain how Ohm's Law works in my next video. But resistance is basically the opposition to flow. 
So if you have a wire and you apply a voltage to it, let's say 9 volts, whatever, and you connect this to ground, then when the current flows, there's going to be some pushback. It, it's, it's basically what opposes the electrons to flow. Because everything has its resistance. Different things have a different resistance. For example, a piece of wood probably has a very high resistance. Right? Has a high resistance. But metal has a low resistance. And wires are made out of metal because they have a low resistance. Therefore, they don't oppose the flow of current as much. That's why our wires are made out of metal, um, where where the, the coating around them is actually made out of plastic because plastic has a high resistance. And when you have a high resistance, electricity can't flow through it, so you won't get shocked. But the wire itself is made out of metal. And uh, anything with a really high resistance is called an insulator. Well, anything with a low resistance, it's usually called a conductor. And the last thing I want to show y'all is power. Electrical power, also known as watts. Well, what is a watt? Basically, it's really simple. Power equals voltage times current. I is a symbol for here. I'll just write it on the side if you want. All right. This is the formula, P equals VI, power or watts equals voltage times current. So if you know you have a 9 volt battery and you have one amp running through it, then you have 9 watts. Really simple. So this is, a, this is probably the simplest uh, way. So watt is the actual power you're getting out of it. It's the potential or the pressure and the actual electrons flowing through it, which gives you the wattage. So if you look at the charger of an iPad, it's actually rated at 10 watts. Well, we know it's, so we're going to use a formula, P equals VI. So we know the, the power is 10 watts, so we're going to put that here, 10 equals, and we know the voltage of an iPad is, of an iPad's charger is 5 volts. And we want to find the amount of current that goes through the charger to charge the iPad, right? So we use the formula, P equals VI, I already plugged in the numbers, and we divided here by 5 and 10 over 5 equals I which is 2 equals I so that means we have 2 amps of current going through an iPad charger to charge your iPad we correlate voltage current and resistance in Ohm's law. And that is my second tutorial is Ohm's law and that basically shows you the formula for Ohm's law, how to use it, um, how to find voltage if you have current resistance or any other. If you have two, you can find the last one. Or if you have two, you can find the last one, you know. So that shows you how to do that. So you can just click here to watch Ohm's law.